Garvel Brew is a freeware cam simulation and machine control application. It is in current development with many in-depth tutorial videos available on the Garvel Brew YouTube channel. An important feature is incorporation of a user's machine in cam simulation and control processes. Example pre-configured machines include generic mills and routers, several shape Oco and X car variants, as well as a number of lids. Custom user machine examples are also included. After machine selection and configuration, CAM functions are not difficult to grasp. TXF or SVG vectors are loaded into a 2D editor where they can be processed to tool path and G code. When a vector has been loaded, a layer or element is selected and the job is added. Job settings are established in a properties panel. Pass depth, total depth, feed rates, and clearance height are entered as required. A tool is selected from an editable tool table and the corresponding tool path is automatically generated. With the drawing item selected, stock dimensions can be modified with adjustments updated in the view. In the 3D view, the job is located with its reference point at a specified work coordinate origin. Toolbar buttons interactively control display of the machine, the MC code, the 2D vector, and other preview options. When the simulation is started, tool motion is drawn in the view. Display zoom pan and rotation are interactively controlled by mouse. Tool motion can be hidden and the 3D preview of the final result is available. MC code can be saved or Garble Brew can run the code itself on compatible hardware. Garble Brew can process multi-layer vectors and allows user templates to quickly apply shop parameters. With a suitable vector loaded in the 2D editor, the desired job template is activated. The vector layer for the job is selected. A job is added to automatically create tool path and G-code corresponding to template parameters. The process can be repeated for as many layers as exist in the loaded vector. If template parameters specify use of tabs, they will be generated. Depending on the vector, tab position may require some adjustment. Tabs are adjusted by click and drag to the desired location. Clicking the MC Code Creator button on the taskbar ensures modified tab locations are applied in the G code. In the 3D view, the job is located by reference point at the current work coordinate origin. Display options are adjusted to suit requirement. Pressing Start previews all tool paths. d or 2.5d cuts generate a useful 3d preview of the completed job a tool or edit button can call a user specified text editor to view or modify the generated g code mox users need to modify the go to safety height feed rate to a non-zero value as in this case the save g code executes in mox without problems G-Code, created in other applications, can preview or run in Garble Brew. This example is output from Rapport and CNC Toolkit for parts from a child's write-on toy. NC Tool Path and Tool Motion previews are fine, but this type of cut with curved surfacing passes does not produce a useful preview of the resulting 3D surface. Garble Brew has some useful 3D functions, such as SVG or DXF vector, to extrude a 3D STL surface. A suitable vector is loaded. It's important to use a clean vector, comprised of closed shapes.
shift and left click in the 2D or 3D views allows taking of measurements. A start point is clicked, followed by the desired end point. Garble Brew connects the points and displays the distance on the bar below the viewport. The toolbar STL Creator button launches a pop-up with surface creation options. A drawing option used as the imported vector as source and the spinner to control surface Z height appears. The resulting surface is easily exported. Inspection in Mesh Lab shows the result of the high quality watertight mesh. The STL creator can also be used to generate gears. Selecting the gear option displays spinners to define and adjust gear properties. Gears are constructed by interaction of module, diametral pitch, number of teeth and profile shift coefficient values. Pressure angle value adjusts tooth shape and tooth width controls overall thickness of the gear. When a gear has been generated with STL Creator, a shape to create a tool path can be extracted using the slicer function. Z position is the current position of the slice plane. R increases slice plane radius for better visibility. Plane Z equals zero puts slices at the Z zero position. Clear before resets to the editor data before slicing. In the 2D editor, it's a simple matter to process the slice shape to a tool path to cut the gear. The tool path can be previewed with a gear STL visible, or a 3D preview can be used to verify results. Vector and object scaling can modify standard projection based cuts to apply tool compensation in the Z axis. The half pipe STL provided with garble brew is loaded and the work coordinate origin is adjusted to locate the tool at the corner of the object. Vector positioning functions are used to specify a Z value of 79 mm to locate the vector above the surface and the desired vector is loaded. In this case, the vector is designed to create parallel passes to surface the object. STL positioning functions are applied to scale the object in the x-axis to 94% of its original size. Vector positioning functions are used to scale and position the vector so that it fits entirely within the object x-y extents with no overlapping of the surface edges. In the 2D editor, a projection mode job template is active. The vector layer is selected and the job is created using parameters from the template. In the 3D editor top view, the STL surface is restored to its original scale and repositioned to be centered below the scale vector. In the front view, the surface is lowered in the z-axis by the cut depth value, in this case, by 1 mm. The various adjustments have created a tool path with offset relative to pass depth, or in other words, z-axis tool compensation has been built into the job. Gartle Brew 4th axis milling functions allow vector wrapping to a cylindrical surface. Additional methods based around point scanning are in development. With 4th axis active, the example cylinder STL is loaded. It is automatically aligned and located to suit the 4th axis setup specified by the user. The chuck can be adjusted to represent real world position. The desired vector is loaded in the 2D editor. The vector reference point option is set as center and the job is added.
A tool is specified and job transformation mode is set as cylinder. Cylinder radius is already established as 25 millimeters. A tool path is generated automatically. In the 3D view, the original vector is hidden, the simulation is started, and the job proceeds as anticipated. With some access relabeling, Moxie users can run 4th access cheat code output. Gartle Groove has many other functions and features, far more than can be addressed in a short video. Software download link, as well as many other examples with in-depth tutorials are provided on the Gartle Groove YouTube channel.